Let's go beyond Florence and look at Luca Sanirelli. He's a papal artist under Sixtus IV, great name by the way, and Pope Alexander VI. And he's going to create the damned cast into hell. Now, this work depicts the end of the world. Hopefully you're seeing a theme here. Don't worry, it gets worse after the Council of Trent during the Counter-Reformation. There's going to be a lot of hell that we're dealing with, and it's not just depictions of Beloit. And when we look at this, there are few figure compositions up to this point which have quite the impact of this piece. In the heavens we see St. Michael and the angels of heaven casting the damned into hell. Hell itself is this dense, dense, writhing mass, vigorously tortured by demons. It's not a place you really want to be. This is, after all, a pictorial interpretation of the horrors of eternal damnation. We don't want people encouraged to go to hell. We don't want people thinking this is a good idea. So we're encouraging artists to create something that makes it really uncomfortable, someplace you definitely don't want to be. The figures assume every possible pose of anguish as emotions reach a crescendo. We have yet to see any of this in Renaissance art until this point, this depiction of emotion, not just through facial features, but also the pose of the body, for example. The artist's skill at foreshortening is equaled only by his knowledge of the figure's movement. It's really a remarkable piece. And the figures here are clearly executed from model. They're just too accurate to not be. And I should point out, when I say by model, I mean by male model, because female models are not acceptable, women sin with their body, blah, 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 blah. You're aware of that story. So when you see female models or females depicted nude, they're actually usually young men who are feminized. And when you see men depicted, of course, those are generally men. And the entire point of this is to act like a memento mori, a reminder of death, a reminder that death could come for you at any time. And do you really want to take the risk of ending up in the wrong place? After all, it's not exactly a 50-50 shot, heaven or hell. So to encourage people to do the right thing, you will see paintings like this depicting people in hell. And it's supposed to scare you. It's like the old scared straight uh, shows where you would have kids sent to jail for a 24-hour period to see what it's like and hopefully not end up there. 